G'day everyone. You may have seen a recent video of mine where I received in my mail time segment this amazing Tandua oven. The bit that I didn't show in that video was that after I finished filming, I actually lit it, I seasoned the oven and I cooked a couple of chicken drumsticks in it and they were magnificent. So today I'm going to cook my very first full meal in the Tandua oven and I'm cooking wild rabbit with a few vegetables. Righty, I won't go right into it now, but if you happen to be buying a Tandua oven, the first thing you need to do is season it. You've got to light a little fire, then over the course of about an hour, gradually build the fire right up until the insides go black, then keep building it up till it gets really hot, then the insides go white. Then it's right to go. That's seasoning a Tandua oven in a nutshell. I've already done that, it's ready to go. So what I've got to do now is light it, get a good fire going, get some hot coals in there before I can put my rabbit in there. I'm not sure whether the rabbit's gonna fit. If it doesn't, I will cut it in half. But I've decided that I'm going to use this tray. So I may have to cut the rabbit in half and put one on the top and one on the bottom. One up here and one down here. Or just put them both on top, I don't know. But I'm gonna put a couple of onions and some spuds and stuff in there as well. But the first step is to light, actually set the fire, then light the fire, get some heat up and get a few hot coals happening. Rightio, now it's just been lit. So these, uh, that, most of that fire is coming from the newspaper at the bottom. And hopefully that'll set fire to the kindling wood. Which will then get a small fire going and I can start adding bigger bits of wood and try and build up a few coals. Rightio, now my fire's burning nicely now. All well, the, the timber has caught on fire. It's burning down. I'm starting to get a few hot coals. I'm going to put a couple of these larger sort of logs on. When I say larger, I'm sort of, you know, couple of inches round on a six inches long sort of thing just so that they catch a light and can turn into nice hot coals then when I've got a nice bit of hot coals it's time to put the food in so what I'm going to do now I'm going to put these couple of larger logs in let them burn down a bit while they're burning down I'm going to go inside and peel a few potatoes and start getting ready now it is late in the day so the light is going to change I've got an outdoor fluoro light out here and that will help but the light's going to be a little bit dodgy later on righty I'm getting closer to lift off I reckon that uh, pretty soon, as soon as I can smash those couple of larger logs and turn them into coals, it's time to cook. I'm going to go and start uh, loading up my tray. Rightio, now I reckon I'm probably only a few minutes off lift off. These last couple of logs are just, uh, that one's getting a bit brittle. That one's still a bit solid. Maybe another 10 minutes and it'll be ready to go, I reckon. So I'm going to start loading up my tray. I've just finished uh, peeling all my spuds and my pumpkin. I reckon I'll probably put them on the second bottom, in the, oh, the, the second bottom of a, a three-tiered tray. I guess that makes it the middle tray. Now, folks, this is the first time I've done this. I'm just experimenting a little bit. What I've done, I've cut some of my potatoes in half and some into quarters, just to see which ones cook best in the tandoor. Might have to use both trays. I could put them all in the centre if I wanted to. Yeah, I'll put them all in the centre. The reason being, the bottom tray is actually quite close to the coals. I don't want it to sit on the coals. Now, I've got an onion. I might bake him whole. I was going to cut it in half, but I think I'll put it in whole. I'll put the onion on the bottom bit. The onion on the bottom, the pumpkins and the spuds in the middle. Now the rabbit on the top. Look at that. A lovely three-quarter grown doe rabbit that my dad shot just yesterday with his 22. I'm going to have to cut that in half in order to fit it, fit them both on top of the, uh, the bracket over here. Now that's just not going to go on. What that would be suited well to is the hook. I could hang it from the hook and hang the hook in the tandoor. Anyway, I'll cut that in half if I can. There we go. Magnificent. Ready to rock and roll. This is going to be epic. <laughs> I just hope this is, just bear in mind, this is my first time at ever cooking a decent, like a full meal 
in my tan do I? So I may or may not get this right. I could overcook it, I could undercook it. It's all trial and error. Someone did say to me in the comment section of a video, uh, my original video when I unboxed this, that it might take me three or four times using it before I get the hang of it, but he said eventually I will master it. Right away, folks. The time has come to put that magnificent looking food into the tandoor. I'm down to the last of the small logs. There's quite a few coals. What I'm going to do is close up the little air vent at the bottom. That just slows. What that will do, that will slow the oxygen or stops the oxygen coming in, which just slows the fire down and allows it to smolder. There's a lot of heat in there. Alrighty. Well, here goes nothing. Right now, remember I'm quite new to this, very new to this in fact. So I don't really know how long to give that. I reckon I'll give it, well last night I put three, trick, three chicken drumsticks in and they were well and truly done in 20 minutes. They cooked so fast and they were so good. I don't think it's going to take me much longer than say half an hour to cook this. So I'll give it around about, I'll check it in 20 minutes and see how it looks. And then I'll um, make a decision from there. Rightio folks, now it's been in about 20 minutes. I'm just going to have a quick check and see how it looks. Bearing in mind it only took 20 minutes for the chicken drumsticks to cook last night. So let's have a look how hot's the lid. Not too bad at all. It's looking good, but it's not looking fully cooked. Well, not the, uh, the rabbit anyway. I have a sneaky suspicion that I've made a mistake here because from the moment I put this in, I could smell burning onions. <laughs> the handles actually remain quite cool. Easy to hold. That's nearly done. I don't know about the spuds. That's actually looking really good. But I reckon it's not enough. I reckon it needs a bit longer. I don't know, I'm just using the old uh, eyeometer at the moment. I'm doing what my eye says. Maybe I can flog a bit of uh, potato to give me a bit of an idea. There certainly is a lot of heat coming out of there. I did read in all my research with these tandoors that they cook a lot quicker due to the extreme heat. Now I would have thought that the extreme heat would make it really well cooked on the outside and raw on the inside, but after I put the chicken in yesterday for 20 minutes, I took it out, they were cooked thoroughly I can tell you, and they were just right on point. So how does my, my spud look? Is that cooked all the way through? It is, it's a little bit hard. The potato test. It certainly tastes magnificent. Gets that nice charcoal flavour into the uh, into the side of it. Lots of steam coming off it. You'll notice the light's a little bit different now. That's what I said in this, earlier in the video. I've got a fluoro globe just up here, just throwing a bit of light down because the sun has set. Because it's tea time, and that's why I'm cooking tea. I sort of hope it's not ready yet because I'm sitting out here having a couple of cans, smelling the fire, listening to it crackle. I don't, uh, I don't want to stop just yet. <laughs> it's going to be hot. I reckon it's going to need at least another quarter of an hour. This is the half of a half. This is a quarter potato and it's, it's almost cooked but not quite. And I've got half potatoes in there, so I just think a little bit longer to cook the bigger pieces. And I reckon the meat looked like they need a little bit longer as well. Right, yeah, folks, based on the, uh, the 20 minute test, well, I reckon it needs about another quarter of an hour. It's certainly cooking very, very well. It's cooking very nicely. It looks great. It smells great. I'm very, very happy with how it looks. But I reckon I'll check it in about 15 minutes. Right, yeah, folks, now. It's been about another 15 minutes. Let's have a look. Oh, that's looking good. That is looking good. It's looking good, good, good. That's a good feed, a good feed. That is a good feed. <laughs> oh yes, that rabbit. I reckon that's done. What about the spuds? Yep, that's cooked. Which is all done, folks. 
It's taken around about 40 minutes and it is looking absolutely fantastic. It is just looking amazing. Although the onion's looking a little bit, uh, a bit on the dark side, everything else is looking really, really good. Oh, look at that. Look at that steam coming off. Cut into that now and we'll just see how well that's cooked. This is the meat, the meatiest part. That is looking fantastic. Now I've never, never made a cooking video before so if this sucks then I really apologise. <laughs> Have a look at that. Nice juicy wild rabbit. How does that look folks? Is that good or what? Oh my god. Oh look at that. Now just because the rabbit is cooked in a tandoor oven that does not automatically make it tandoori rabbit. I had a few comments on my video last night about tandoori chicken. Just because a chicken is cooked in a tandoor oven doesn't make it tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken has all kinds of spices and different foods added to it. What I cooked last night was just a chicken in the tandoor oven. There you go folks, have a look at that. The, the, uh, I've sort of messed up a little bit with the onion. I think it might have been a bit too close to the coals, but other than that, this roast rabbit it took, just to give you an overview, I heated the, uh, I heated the tandoor right up, then I let it simmer right down to a heap of, uh, heap of like charcoal, heap of hot coals and stuff. Then once it was down to hot coals, I closed it up, I put the rabbit in and all up, it took around about 40 minutes. So 40 minutes worth of cooking there and it is right on point. Now I'm going inside to, uh, to eat that. Hey folks, I couldn't end this video without giving you a quick update on how it went. Now it was around about 40 minutes that was in and in that 40 minutes, the onion on the bottom was charred. It was too cooked, it was overcooked, it wasn't great. The inside part was nice, but the outside half was uh, well and truly overdone. The spuds, I had two different size spuds, I'd cut some into quarters and some into half. The quarters were absolutely magnificent. The halves were a little bit underdone, I could have done with a little bit longer. The pumpkins, which were similar size to the quarter potatoes, they were just on point. Now I hate pumpkin, that's one of my least liked foods, but even in the tandoor I absolutely loved it. So that was a big win. And the rabbit itself, it was cooked all the way through. It might have been a little overdone, but it was a little bit dry. A lot of this can be attributed to the fact that rabbit is a very lean meat at the best of times. I actually just got a phone call from my friend Straubs, who a lot of you have seen in from some of these videos, and he suggests, because he's done similar sort of cooking, to wrap the dry meat like venison and, and rabbit and stuff in a little bit of real cheap bacon so that the fat can sort of go into it and just give it a bit of moisture. So folks, cooking times at 40 minutes, Half a spud probably takes a bit longer, quarter of a spud was on point. The, uh, the pumpkin which was you know, a bit bigger than a quarter of a potato, that was really nice. The rabbit was a bit dry, but that could also be because it's got no fat in it. Rabbit is a very lean meat. Overall, considering this was my very first cook up in the tandoor oven, I'm very, very impressed. Despite the being dry, the rabbit was very, very nice. I think it may have been slightly overdone. If I was to cook this again now, and start from scratch right now, I think what I would do, I'd cook half spuds instead of quarter spuds, but I'd put them in for a little while first. I'd give them a, probably a 20 minute head start before I put the rabbit in. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why not consider doing so? And I'll see you in the next video.